This is a little LED nightlight that I got from what is best be described as an eBay British pound shop where everything's about a pound and then it's another pound for shipping. And this looked quite an interesting little nightlight. It was available in a few different colours and initially I thought maybe it was one of the cheap electroluminescent ones but it does appear to be um, LED because um, I've had it lit. Uh, in fact, I have it lit right now. Oh, it, it claims... Indoor nightlight, uh, voltage 201 to 250 volts, max wattage 3 milliwatt. That seems quite low. It does say it's fused at 1 amp. Well, let's see if it's got fuse in it. Oh, pink fuse holder, very stylish. Oh, and it does have a fuse which is suitably thin enough. Yeah, it looks as though it's potentially going to be quite useful in preventing Armageddon. Um, so let's try it out. It's got a wee switch at the side. Now I thought this was going to be... It's quite brightish. Not sure how well that's showing up in the camera, but it's not that bad. Looks like it's got a, a single LED in it. And it's got a switch that has two positions. Which I thought maybe it had a light sensor, but it doesn't appear to have a light sensor. I've tried it in a dark room and a bright room, and it just lights regardless in either setting. So let's um, let's open it up. See cheeky little screws under the label here. Oh. I think I'll just go for the stab approach this time on this one. Or maybe not. of truth. Okay. Diffuser. Capacitive dropper, just classic. Just looking at it, I can see the standard capacitor, the full bridge rectifier, um, and the LED, the discharge the discharge resistor for the capacitor, and then probably a series resistor for the LED. Shall we draw this out? Oh, oh look at this. There is a wee sort of bit of material that covers where the electronics are. Is it flame retard? No, it's a bit of cardboard. Is that a packer? Well, it might be to actually block the light from the LED from shining through the plastic casing. Oh, maybe it's to make it more combustible. Right, let's get a notepad here. The circuit board is not screwed in. The fuse is connected. It's connected in between the live and then it goes to the circuit board. So let's get a bit of paper here and let's doodle this down. So we've got live going through the fuse. Live. And oh, there's neutral. So that's going through a fuse. Going through the fuse and going straight to the bridge rectifier, it's going straight to these two diodes. So that's uh, pretty much going straight into a bridge rectifier. I'll just uh, abbreviate it into, into a block. Neutral is predictably going to the capacitor. which is going straight into the, then going straight into the, these two diodes of the bridge. And the discharge resistor values, the capacitor is rated 250 volts, which is a bit naughty, because uh, um, on AC mains it's going to exceed that. They usually use 400 volt capacitors for this, so it's a 330 nano. Um, and that's 250 volts. We exclamation marks, that's a bit naughty. 
The discharge resistor is unusually low. Red, violet, yellow, 270K. On the other side of the bridge rectifier, the positive side goes via that resistor to the LED. That resistor is 470 ohms, which is a nice good value. That's mainly there <coughs> to suppress inrush current um, and spikes um, when you power the circuit up or if there are any glitches. It protects the LED. So that's going then, it's going into the LED itself. And then the negative side of the LED is going to the switch and then to the negative side of the bridge. Yep. And that is it. So this switch does have another solder pad there, but it just doesn't do anything for the two-way switching. Odd. I mean, they must have just had uh, the sort of three-position switch. So there we have it. It's not that complicated. I'm a bit uh, worried about that 270k. That's one of the lowest uh, parallel resistors I've seen for the discharge. Uh, do I have a calculator about? Let's do the maths. So, um, 270k, 240 volts, uh, I equals V over R, 240, just roughly, divided by 270k equals... So it's 0 0.008 amps, which is 0 .8, uh, 0 0.88 of a milliamp, times 240, which gives the power, equals, yeah, it's within the quarter watt rating, it's uh, 0.213 as opposed to 0.25, which is the maximum for that resistor, but I'd rather have seen a 470k or a 1 meg ohm resistor in that position, but that's okay. Yeah, well that really sums it up, really. The cardboard's a bit tacky. Um, but other than that, you know, it's a, it's a novel enough little light, it's very simple. Um, I would say that their um, 3 milliwatt rating is a wee bit in the shallow side. I'd say that it's going to pass probably about 20 milliamps. So you're talking probably about 60 milliwatt, but to be honest, it's a fraction of a watt. And when it comes to the crunch, it's going to cost you less than a dollar a year to run 24-7 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And because it's a white diffuser, um, you can just swap that LED to any colour you like. So, yeah, that's, that's alright. It's not bad. Not bad at all.